Today is the last day to vote here for the 4th District County Supervisors race to replace Nathan Fletcher and poll workers have been busy at vote centers across the district. CBS 8's Brian White has been following this race. He's live at the Registrar of Voters with the latest. Brian. That's right, nearly 400,000 registered voters in the district. It's quite a sprawling district, one that includes some San Diego neighborhoods like Claremont and City Heights, as well as cities further east like La Mesa and Lemon Grove. Now we call it's special. It's the coolest thing you can do. It's super important. I think it is anyway. You need to get out there and let your views be known no matter where you where you stand and uh, make the process work. In this race, we have four candidates. They are Janessa Goldbeck, Paul McQuig, Monica Montgomery Stepp, and Amy Reichert. So here's what we know so far about early voting numbers. 77,000 mail ballots have been returned. 12,000 ballots have come in from Dropbox locations. And for the in-person early voting that's been happening at vote centers around the district since August 5th, only about 800 votes have come in that way. So if you add all that up, early voting is showing about 90,000 votes so far. And that's not counting any votes received today on election day, whether in person or mail ballots. Now I caught up with a voter, Renee Carver, who lives in Claremont. She came out to vote with her husband. I'm here. He brought me here and it is cool to vote. It's important to vote. It's an important election. So everybody else get out here and vote. Very simple. So again, with 90,000 votes returned so far from mail-in and early voting, that's showing about a 22% turnout so far. And we know as these election day votes come in, that number is going to go higher. Now, Brian, obviously we know a winning candidate is going to need the majority of votes here. So 50% plus one. If that doesn't happen, we know there's going to be a runoff. But when will that runoff be? Uh, that would actually take place November 7th. If none of the four candidates receive a majority of the votes, that's what would happen. It would go to a runoff November 7th. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted. And we'll with the results today and, and see if anyone gets that majority. Back right. to you. Brian White reporting live from the Registrar of Voters Office. Brian, thanks.